going to try to film this one pretty quick during nap time right now, but in years past for black friday type of hauls i have waited till i got everything kind of in the mail and just sat down and done one big video however i feel like that is too much work this year so instead i'm just going to like sit down and film segments as things come in just because i don't know the flow of things and the idea of having to like keep everything hoarded till it's ready to film seems a little bit overwhelming this time around so right now i'm going to talk about target old navy and probably Walmart if I have a second. Target stuff seems to be on top, so that will be <laughs> the first thing I talk about. First is an online order I made. The main reason was I wanted to get these Melissa and Doug blocks. It's a set of 100 colorful wooden blocks. We've been wanting wooden blocks for her. My parents have wooden blocks at their place that she really likes to play with. So we wanted to get this set and it was a really decent price. I think it was like $11 for the set. We basically play with them every single day. So that's been a good investment. Of course, it was one of those things where you had to spend $35 to make an order. So I looked at what else was on sale and this winter hat, which I'm excited about. I like getting something that has a strap underneath to help keep it on her head. I don't know if she's going to wear it. She's not really great with hats, but I really liked that it was warm and it is water resistant. And hopefully snow days, she will wear it. Who knows though? And then her feet have not grown at the rate I expected. So I did buy her very warm shoes, but they are a size seven. And right now she's wearing a six. And I feel like, yeah, for something like a winter boot where she's gonna have like really thick socks on, that'll work. But right now it's not working. <laughs> so I actually wound up getting her these sneakers that have like fur lined and she's been wearing these a bunch. Yeah, she didn't have anything like super warm and these have been really nice to help keeping her feet warm right now for me clothes have been quite a pain so i did get these in person if you saw my was it the last vlog i think it was the last it was the last pre-vlogmas vlog i said i went to target and was looking at the black friday stuff i wound up grabbing two things i got a pair of jeans that were on sale for 15 dollars. i decided to size up in their jeans to a size bigger than what i typically wear and they do fit really well however my body is like very straight so like i don't have like a waist hips like i just have like very straight so like if i find a pair of jeans that fits my hips well it's too tight on my waist versus if i find one that fits my waist well it's too loose on the hips and it slides down a lot so it's very frustrating <laughs> these are the type that fit my waist really well <laughs> but they do fall down a lot so it's very frustrating but this is their i think it's the mid-rise skinny and it's just like a very dark wash with no rips because a lot of my jeans I feel like that fit right now are all ripped and I don't necessarily only want to wear ripped when it's cold out. And then I've been trying to add more v-necks into my wardrobe. I don't really have a lot of v-neck clothing, almost none. So these were on sale for $5. And I've also been trying to not only buy gray and black, so I did get a green, but they're just two v-neck tees. Then the other order I have here, well, this isn't even an order. On Black Friday, the actual day, we went into Old Navy in person and it was very frustrating. We used to go to Old Navy on Black Friday and like it would be the entire store was 50% off. It was very confusing now because you had to like find the things that were on sale. The one thing I really wanted to get her were pajamas, long sleeve pajamas. <laughs> I'm gonna get her two pairs. So these have little striped pants and a little gray cat. I felt like it was really hard to find non-Christmas pajamas right now and I also got her these which are perfect because she's obsessed with leaves and acorns and squirrels so yeah, she's already been wearing these these fit well I got her a 3t in those and then I also got her this princess shirt she's been very into princesses for myself I grabbed two things first I grabbed was just this it's almost like a bralette but I just wanted something with like really simple little straps it doesn't have support or anything but it's just nice to throw on under certain pieces of clothing, kind of like the one sweater I got, which is inside out because I just washed it. But again, it's a v-neck and I really liked this green, this like forest green, but I didn't want to get very colorful and I was trying to avoid black and gray and they only had this in like sizes that were too big or a size that was too, they only had smalls, extra small and large. And I really probably would have been a medium, but I wound up getting a large and it does fit oversized. I have already posted a video of me wearing it. I just kind of wear it off shoulder and I did wear this underneath and uh, it's very, very comfy and warm. That night we went to Target. Again, the Target sales were so weird. I felt like the Target online deals are better than the in-person deals, whatever. I did want to get Phoebe another pair of sweatpants. She had this pink pair and a gray pair last winter and currently she has it in black. She has them in black right now, but I wanted to wait until I saw that they fit 
but they do the, the two t's do fit her right now so i'm gonna get her a second pair so i got her some pink sweatpants the only other thing i have in person is a vacuum we did get a vacuum we've been having a lot of trouble with our cordless dyson lately and we i'd heard about this tinico vacuum that is like a mop vacuum which is very interesting nothing like anything we've had before and it was on sale for 200 and i would say like 80 five percent of our house if not more maybe 90 is non-carpeted no rugs just hard floor so this is really nice for us because the only mop we had prior was like a swiffer wet jet and that only does so much so this has been a nice addition to our house same day much later in the day after child refuses bed for two hours so we're looking a little rough, but I did want to get a mini haul in right now of the couple things that got delivered throughout the day. One is an Amazon order and one is like two thirds of my online Old Navy purchase. This Amazon purchase is actually a Cyber Monday sale. And this is a visual timer. This is something that we had been wanting and then we kind of like bit the bullet on Cyber Monday. I really don't want to do it because I don't want it to ring. <laughs> but basically it's a timer where when you like put it to like five minutes, it it's like blue and then like the number shrinks the number shrinks so it's like to help her kind of conceptualize if we say like in 10 minutes we're gonna do this she can kind of like see that and get a better understanding of time like i said we had gone to old navy like we normally do but then online the next day so like small business saturday old navy had the 50 percent off sale and <laughs> Some of the things I had wanted to get in store that weren't on sale, I was able to get plus a couple other things. But this is just some of the stuff. I had seen this sweatshirt in store and I really liked how soft it was. S something was very like nostalgic of just like having a sweatshirt that said Old Navy as a child. But it, like I said, it was so soft inside. So I was really happy to get her a nice soft sweatshirt. This was a three piece. I guess it was like leftover from summer. It's a pair of shorts. These are the three T size. She had a pack of these biker shorts from Old Navy this past summer and they were her most worn shorts this summer. So I'm definitely gonna stock up next summer. So I was glad to find a set that had them. And then it came with a star t-shirt and then a little straight tank top. So that'll all be for next summer. One of the big things I had wanted to get that day at Old Navy was socks because something I very much like about Old Navy socks is first of all, they're grippy but on the grips, it says the size of the sock. So like, I know what size I'm due for next. And she's starting to outgrow her socks. So I wound up picking up a set of crew socks and a set of ankle socks for her in the online sale. Only the ankle ones have been delivered so far, but they have like little like foods on them. I don't know. I didn't need anything like super fancy. I thought these would be perfect. And these are in the 4T5T size. I think the ones she has right now are 2T3T but her feet are growing. I don't really understand sock sizing in the tees when like shoes are not like two tees. <laughs> so I don't get it. I did wind up getting two things for myself in the online sale and one of them was delivered and this is a turtleneck. I actually bought this turtleneck last year in the Black Friday sale and I wore it once and Phoebe took a nap on me in it and drooled all over it. And the drool, whatever was in her formula, I guess, completely stained the shirt and made it unwearable. Cause it was like a grease slick down my shirt. So this is not the same color I had last year, but I don't really have a sweater this color. So I'm excited to have it again. <laughs> Cause I really liked the sweater. And that's all for this part of the haul. Okay. I have been up since like 4.30 in the morning and I am feel in it right now but phoebe just went down and i was very much like do i film this one or do i wait till tomorrow and i was like you know what let's just do it right now i did get my thread up order delivered they had a i think they were calling it like green friday i guess since it's like recycled clothing there's a reason i made this order so i really wanted this specific pair of leggings from amazon i've really liked the brand colorful koala for a very long time had their leggings for many years and I really wanted a pair that had pockets. And I was planning on getting on Black Friday and by the time I checked out, they were sold out in my size. And I was annoyed and I was like, well, let me see if they have any colorful koala leggings on ThreadUp. And they did for like half the price of what even the Black Friday sale was, but they didn't have the ones with pockets. But I was like, you know what? I need good leggings anyway. 
they're I guess considered Lululemon dupes, the Colorful Koala brand. Um, I find them really comfortable. So let me show you what I got. I got two of the leggings, not pocketed, two v-neck shirts, and one cardigan, all in my color story. So I did get them in black. I do already have the black plain pair, but it's I wear these weekly and I'm always trying to wash them really fast. I honestly thought I got two pairs of black, but I got a dark gray, but <laughs> that was just me not being able to tell the difference between the listings. But I think one of these was $8 and one of these was $9. So that's like, I think they're like usually 20 something dollars on Amazon. The two V-necks. The first one is from Abercrombie and Fitch. It's a medium and it's just like a V-neck t-shirt. I don't remember how much I paid for these. And this one is made well, also a medium. This one has like a pocket. I will say there's like a bit of like a hole right here in the back. And I find that anytime I get like used made well clothes, they always seem to like kind of be overly distressed. And I felt like Madewell's supposed to be like a very fancy brand, which I mean, like I can tell this is like a nice quality, but that seems common. And then I also got, I don't know this brand, Maurice's. I don't think that's a fancy brand, but I just liked this style of like open front cardigan. It's like a little cinched in the back. I'm so tired. I am hopefully going to be sleeping soon. I'm still waiting for two more packages. Okay, I'm here to film the very last portion of this during nap time today. So I gotta be quick. A couple things. First of all, no eye makeup today. My eyes were really bothering me last night. So I'm doing no makeup on my eyes today. So if I look a little dead, <laughs> that's the reason for that. Also, we didn't have the best leaf last night. Also, there's one thing that never was delivered and that's because I knew it was gonna come later. And it's a pair of pajamas that we got from Amazon. I will try to find a picture of Phoebe wearing these last year. We had them in pink last year. They were my favorite pajamas that we got. They were very, very stretchy, so they were super comfortable and easy to get her in and out of. We got them in purple this time. I have the rest of my Old Navy order here. So apparently I never ordered those crew socks that I thought I got. I like rechecked my order and I guess they must have like sold out at some point while I was making my, like putting everything in my cart because they're not in my order. I'm really bummed out about because I really did want a set of the crew socks, but I wound up just getting those ankle socks, which she's been wearing and they've been fitting really well, so. I'm kind of bummed out about it, but it is what it is. So I do have two more things in this order. I got this in a 4T for next summer. So it's a set of like pajamas. So it has a little giraffe hopping out of the pocket there. And then like little zoo animals on the shorts. And then I did get a pair of leggings with pockets. These are their high rise 7 8 leggings with pockets. I know nothing about them if they're gonna like fit me well. They do have pockets. It does have a waistband, which I don't always love a waistband, but we'll see how they are. I just wanted more leggings with pockets. Like literally the pair I'm wearing right now do not have pockets and it's so frustrating. Ladies, do you hear me? Finally, I made a Cyber Monday order from Ulta. I saw that a few things that were in my loves, favorites, hearts, whatever, were on sale and I was very excited. And I'd also just recently run out of a skincare product that I didn't really have any backups of. So I thought, let me use this as an advantage to do that. I'll show you. So the first item I bought has been like sold out all year, I feel like, and it's the Pixie by Petra On The Glow blush. This was on sale for Black Friday. I got this in the shade Fleur, which is the lightest shade. I don't have very many like stick types of blushes and I don't really have any cream blushes of this shade. I did fully use up a stick blush this year, so I might only have one in my collection right now, the ColourPop one. So this was a very exciting <laughs> sale find for me. Next, I got a single eyeshadow and this is from Flower Beauty. It's one of their Chrome Crush Press Pigments. I got the shade Quartz. I didn't really know what shade to get, but I felt like Quartz looked like a really good, like on the go, easy to wear shade, just like nice and sparkly. Like, I feel like that looks so pretty. I'm excited to try that out, very excited. And then the skincare product I had run out of. I'm fairly certain, yes, was a makeup removing balm. And I saw that the that Milani was having a sale. So I wound up picking up their, what is, what are they called? The Green Goddess Cleansing Balm. I've never tried this one before, but I thought it was worth a shot. Milani was having a deal where I think if you spent, I feel like it was $15, you got a free sample of their anti-gravity mascara, which I've heard great things about. And just this alone didn't make a $15 purchase. So I also grabbed their their new Conceal and Perfect, but I got their under eye brightener because, ooh, 
I did finish my e.l.f. under eye brightener this year and I felt like it was okay, but I didn't feel like it was perfect. And right now, the only under eye brightener I have is my Becca one and I'm really looking to have something replace that. So I'm hoping maybe the new Milani one will be a good replacement for that. So there you have it, my Black Friday, Cyber Monday sale. I think I got everything in now. Let me know, what did you guys grab during the sales? Did you shop it? Did you not shop it? Let me know in the comments. And yeah, that is it for this video. As usual, thanks for stopping by my channel. If you're new here, click the subscribe button and ring that bell for notifications. I have my Instagram down below, give it a follow, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.